Welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step how to draw a perfect star. So in drawing a perfect star, there are different methods, different approach that you can use to draw a perfect star. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you two different methods that you can use to draw a perfect star. So before we get into this video, uh, if you are new to this channel, PA Academy, kindly click on subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free from your end to subscribe to this channel. So the subscribe button you see it at the lower right of your screen you see a red box which click here to subscribe so if you overwrite it to give it the option to subscribe all right so thank you very much for subscribe so now let's get into this video proper how to draw a perfect square so the first method I'm, I'm going to be using is that that involve using a circle and to start with you are going to be drawing a circle and make sure your circle you draw your circle with a faint line because what we just need on this sheet is the star itself so you're going to be drawing a circle with a faint line like what I'm having here and irrespective of the size of your circle, either how big or how small it is, the steps are still the same thing. So once you have your circle, you draw your radius. That is a line from the circumference of the circle to the center of the circle. You also do that with a faint line. So like, as you can see here. So then we bring in our protractor. So you make sure your protractor is properly placed. You place it at the center. And then you measure 72 degrees. So that means what basically what we want to do is we want to divide this circle into five equal parts. And in dividing it into five equal parts, remember the total uh, angle in a circle, we have it as 360 degrees. So if you should divide it by five, that will give us 72 degrees. So now we want to divide the circle into five equal parts. And that will be at 72 degrees apart. So once I mark 72 degrees, so now I have to mark another 72 degrees. So 72 plus another 72, that will give us 144. So this is 144. So that is 144. So 144 then plus another 144, that should give us um, 216. But if you look at my protractor, it stops at 180. So for me to continue, what I'll just do is this. So I'll just pick my protractor and then turn it in this direction so you can see. Then I'll place it again at the center. So this time around, I'm going to be taking my angle in anticlockwise direction. So I'll me me uh, measure 72. So I'll mark the point. This is 72 and then 144. So this is 140 and this is 150. So 144 is here. Now, so we've already noted those points. So this, these are the points, this is one here, this is one, another one. So we've noticed those four points. So what we are going to do is this. You bring in your ruler and then from the center to that point, just pay attention to this. So you can see, to give us, instead of drawing a straight line, so just mark, a, draw a very short, small line on the circumference of the circle like this. So you can see. So we are going to do the same thing. You can just note it with just a point. You know, you can just draw a point on the circumference of the circle. You can either use this or you just do what I've just what I did here. Or you just mark it with just a point on the circumference. But this is much more better. So we are going to do the same thing here. So from the center, this is where we have our the line that is giving us the angle for 72 degrees. So if you should if instead of us drawing a straight line, we can just note note it on the circumference of the circle. That means if you have to draw a line, the point of intersection of the line and the circumference of the circle, you just note that point. So we'll come here and then we'll do the, that of the last one. So now those points that we've just noted on the circumference of the circle, let's starting with this. Now the, where we, the radius, the radius we've drawn, where it is touching the circumference is also part of the point. So we are going to be having five points. So let me call this Point one, two, three, four, and then five. Four and five. Now the next thing to do at this point is this. Now let's start from this point one. You can start from anywhere. From point one, we are going to draw a line from point one. We are going to skip point two and draw a line to point three. So let's do that. And in doing that also, we are going to do it with a faint line. We are going to be doing it with a faint line. So from point one straight to point three. So I hope you can see it. So with a faint line. Now from point three, we are going to skip point four and draw a line to point five. So 
So you're going to be having something like this. Now from point 0.5, you are going to skip point 0.1 and draw a line to point 0.2. So you are going to skip one and draw the line to the next one. So that's just the concept. Now we are on 5. From 5, you skip one, you draw it to point 0.2. Still with a faint line. Because the only thing we want to see is the star itself. Now we are on 2. From point 0.2, you skip point 0.3 and draw a line to point 0.4. So from point 4, you skip point 5, you draw a line to point 1. So having done that, now if you look at it, if you once you are at this point, you see that you are already having your star. The next thing for us is to draw out our star using an outline that's a bold line so if you are finding value in this video kindly give it a thumbs up so now let's look at it from this point one so let's draw out the lines that will give us the star so if you look at the point of intersection let me just let me note it where these lines inter uh, the point of intersection of all these lines from here and here so let me call those points let me call this point a b c d and E. So from point A, from the, this is point A. So we are going to draw this from point A straight to point 5, from point A to point, uh, to point 1. We are going to draw it out to make it bold. So that is point A to point 5. From point A to point 1. Now from point E, this is this point E, we are going to draw the line to point one, make it bold from point E to point two, making it bold. So what I've just done, I'm going to con I do the same thing to all this point to point A, B, C to point B, C and D. So let's let me do that. So I can also do that of from point C to point 4. So this is from point B to 5, from point C to point 3. So from point B to point 4. And then, okay, we still have point D to point 3. So, and with this, you can see we already have our star. Our star, this is how you go ahead to draw a perfect star. So, if you look at it, this, you know, one significant about the star is that this, these lines are always straight like this. You can see it. So, this is how you, this is one of the methods you can use to draw um, a perfect star. So, like I said, if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to be doing another video which will be coming out coming up immediately after this video, showing you another method that you can use to draw a perfect star. Remember this particular method, we started with a circle, but there's another method that doesn't involve using a circle. I'm going to be showing you that in the next part of this video. So thank you very much for watching. And if you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button. And then the next part of this video showing you the second method will be coming up next. So you can click it at the top left of your screen to go to that video. Alright, so thank you very much.